Hello everyone, my name is Alessandro and today you are going to see how this artichoke is not just a carciofo. Today we are going to make a vegetarian lasagna with as a main ingredient this beautiful flour. And this is a really popular ingredient in Italy and we even have uh, a small town in the southern of Tuscany called Chiusure, who is the town of the artichoke. The ingredients for today are artichoke, a glass of white wine, parmigiano reggiano, a nice uh, mozzarella for the lasagna, one garlic and parsley. For the bechamel sauce, we have butter, one teaspoon nutmeg, a little bit of flour to get the bechamel sauce more ticky, and of course the milk. So let's make this lasagna. And the most important step is how to clean the artichoke because you don't want to have those hard parts in your lasagna, otherwise you're never gonna eat it. When you clean the artichokes, it's really important that you have the water with the lemon sauce inside. And this is because you don't want to have a black artichoke. You start to take away all those leaves until it gets more soft inside and the color is changing. You can see it's more green and this is the color you want to have. So I take away that. And then, really important, I take away this part on the top. So now, this is the heart of the artichoke. So you cut it in the middle like that, and then inside, you need to see if there is some, uh, in, in Italy we call it la barbetta. So it's like the bird. I can see well, a little bit. So I take it away. And then you put it in the water with lemon. In the meantime, I cut my finger. And the next process is to give some extra taste to, this, uh, to those artichokes. Now it's the time for the garlic. Smash it. You cut it in small pieces. Extra virgin olive oil. You want the oil to take the flavor of the garlic. Take away the water. So now you put your artichoke inside, okay? Put a little bit of salt inside the salt. Parsley, you put the whole thing so you can take, take it away after. White wine, and then I'm waiting for the alcohol to go away. And one glass of water, okay? And you leave it so the water and wine uh, make the artichoke softer, okay? You put a lid and I'm coming back to you. Now, while we are waiting for our artichoke to be softer, we can make the bechamel sauce for the lasagna, okay? You put the butter inside and you wait until the butter melts. Now, it's the time for us to put the flour inside. And I do like that. I want to create this, um, look how beautiful it is. Exactly that you want. A little bit of your milk. So you start with that. And now you start to put more milk. And you whisk so that you don't get those uh, clumps of flour inside, okay? When the milk is hot, then it will be more, more creamy, more solid. And now we can put also our muscat inside. So put the muscat, a little bit of salt, and uh, you stir it. Now, when we are waiting for the bechamel to be more uh, consistent, we take the, our Parmigiano Reggiano that we have saved here and we grate it. So, yes, this is perfect. You can see it's still on the spoon and uh, it's homogen everywhere. 
it's really tasty. So the bechamel is done. The artichokes are ready. So we have the mozzarella, parmesan, pasta. Our bechamel is ready, ready and nice. And the artichoke, okay? First thing you do, you take the bechamel sauce and you put it as a base, okay? So the pasta will not stick when uh, it is in the oven. You take your pasta, one and two, like there, you push a little bit so the bechamel goes everywhere. I need to taste it. Mmm, mm. okay. Now you take the artichoke like that. The next thing I do is a secret ingredient. I got this amazing trifle from a Divin Oil. He's my friend and he delivers food here in Stockholm. So I got this and then I love to put trifle on my artichoke lasagne. I know it's really difficult to find, but you can make it without it and then it's still good anyway. But this, mm. Oh, Maronna. Parmesan. And then you put the mozzarella, the bechamel. And now you put the pasta again, okay? And again, the same thing. Artichoke, truffle again. And mozzarella. So you put the lasagna with some firm for 225 degrees for about 20 minutes, okay? And then when 20 minutes are gone, you take away the film and leave it for 20 minutes again. So you get this crispy looks. So my friend, the lasagna is done. Whoop. Oh. Oh, look here. Yes. Look, amazing it is. Amici miei, buon appetito.